Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, Raila Amon Odinga finally managed to land in this country from South Africa, and after arriving at JKIM, the convoy made its way to Kamkunji ground. And while at Kamkunji ground, there are several issues Raila Amon Odinga has pointed out, about th six points, and he has explained himself on how the Azmio side should treat William Samai Ruto and his government. So I just want to quote Leila Monodinga as we continue to analyze the sixth point he talked about. This is what he said. Since August 15th, we have conducted our own investigation of the IBC and electoral results. We are convinced that our victory was stolen. He continued to say, Dear Kenyans, the presidential results announced by Mr. Chebukati were entirely made up by him and nothing to do with the votes you cast. Wafula Chebukati and the two IBC commissioners and the CEO formed a cartel and cooked their own results. That is Raila Molo Dinga. So remember there was the Chebukati 3 and we had the Chebukati 4. And this is what he's saying again. We as Azmio, just because they believe and they have the evidence after doing their own scrutiny and investigation, now they're declaring that we as Azmio, we reject the 2022 election result totally. We cannot and we will not recognize the Kenya Kwanza regime and we consider the Kenya Kwanza government illegitimate. We do not recognize William Ruto as the president of Kenya. What does that one mean? They don't recognize the Kenya Kwanza regime. That means any cabinet secretary William Ruto has appointed to his cabinet will not be recognized by Kenya, by Azimio La Umoja. Any government official from William Ruto's government, especially from the executive, any appointment he has done, they will literally not recognize anyone that Ruto has appointed. And then he's telling his followers and the people who voted for him, the 8 million, that they don't recognize William Samuel Ruto as the president. That means from now, as Mio supporters or all the people who voted for Raila Molo Dinga will not recognize William Ruto as their president because that is the directive Raila Molo Dinga has given to his supporters. Now, let us check on this point. Eh? Raila Odinga's clarion call. Number one, as Mio rejects the 2020 general election, we have talked about that one. So it means it's either the person who won election takes over the government or have another way to get a right person to be in the office and not the person who did not win the election. We do not recognize William Ruto as Kenyan president. Okay, I had said this one. We demand the entire infrastructure and records of the 2022 elections in the IBC be made public, audited by impartial body. Now, this one is just to prove what they are talking about. Such that if there is anyone who is doubting this, then they should go through the server. IBC now should open the server so that they can confirm what Rela Morodinga is talking about. And I said this one yesterday, that the tweet that Mother Karo was making yesterday, it was just a way of laying uh, ground for Ella Molo Dinga to come and uh, put the foundation of his demand going forward and giving a political direction to his supporters or followers. We demand an attempt to reconstitute IBC single-handedly by Ruto seized another serious matter how can a president who happened to be a player 
in the game. That is election. Go ahead and make a decision of appointment single-handedly of the referees that will be watching this game. How can one side just make that choice? And then you expect to have a free, fair result and you have a referee who will not waver to either side. It will never happen. So Azimia is demanding that any appointment or amendment Ruto is attempting to constitute the IBC should be rejected. That's true. He has to call all the participants in the game. Use their numbers or their strength in terms of elected leaders to give you know, chances of how many people you should suggest to this body. For example, if you need like six people, so Azimia should appoint three. And then Kenya Panther should appoint another three. So that now they are equally. And there is no one who will complain at the end of the day. But if it is William Samuel Ruto making those uh, appointments, how do you expect these people to be a neutral judge? They will never have a better way of leading the election. They are going to work for William Samuel Ruto because they will have an instruction for William Ruto to do that which he wish or his own interest. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Reject the the reject the MP policy made by the UDA regime. We call on Kenyans to reject UDA policies. Hey, there are several policies they have made. Of course, the National Assembly has been going on the issue even to do with the with the matters to do with the changes on taxes, among other things. There are several things. The issue of GMO, among other things. They're saying that they have to reject any process they have done because they don't recognize William Ruto as the president. He has signed some document and they don't recognize him. So for that reason, they should reject. Kenyans don't buy into that. We call on Kenyans to resist and demand removal of penitive taxes. Kaila has talked about the issue of Kenya power, the new tariffs. Everyone has been complaining about the unit they are buying. It is now turning out to be much expensive because Ruto is putting more taxes on that. Kaila is even going to an extent of insisting that at one point he's going to ask Kenya to resist from Kenya power in punitive ways. We continue. We demand the, that Kenya Kwanzaa government resign. <laughs> this one is self-explanatory. After you have said we don't recognize William Ruto and the regime, the only remaining thing is for them to resign. Number eight, uh, and lastly, we ask our people to say no to the UDA regime. The repetitive. Say no to UDA regime. Another issue here is that Raila has pointed to the issue of taxes that some of their areas it means if these orders will not be respected they will go to an extent of asking the areas where they manage to pull numbers not to pay taxes remember when someone talks about taxes that is how you suffocate a government there's no regime can run without having taxes. They need resources to run the government. Resources will always come from the people. So they have called for another meeting. That means in that meeting, in case nothing will happen from now until the Sunday, let me say my Sunday, something there. Then maybe Raila will have another new way of dealing with this issue if it will be through Mandamano or through resist, or whichever means it is upon him to come with it together with the other leaders, the way they will discuss about it, and again, listening from the people to understand what people are thinking about and what they are looking for. Now, if you look the rally and the convoy that welcomed Rela Molo Ding, you can agree with me that this country has problems. There is no employment. 
a lot of people are unemployed. So, when Ayala Monodinga call for such a meeting, they will all be available for that meeting. You can sell the turn up in their numbers. Like, even if you could have tried to say you want to disperse such crowd, then you will end up causing a big problem. That's why police could not think of doing anything. Again, in this meeting, uh, all the way from JKA going to Kamkunji ground, you could see the border border guys welcoming Raila Mono Dinga and moving with him. I have seen the Mambogas in that convoy dancing to the tune and uh, embracing Raila Mono Dinga. The people right, William Ruto was focusing on to vote for him. So Mamamboga are running out to side with Raila Odinga. Boda Boda are standing with the Raila Molo Dinga. And that is something Ruto need to think about more. And lastly, as all this were happening, William Samoy Ruto, Rigazi Gashagwa, and some of the UDA members were somewhere in uh, Kiambu. I think they were attending the bio service of Moses Kuria's sister. But if you listen to the other Gashagwa, Gashagwa was not in that meeting. He was sitting there, but he was busy following the proceedings at the Kamkunji ground. A very bitter man. I don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section for continuation of this conversation.